In this Excel video, I will show you how to create a unique list in Microsoft Excel. And we're gonna do that by pulling information from a list that contains other information. It's not just unique information. This is gonna be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in Excel, and I have a list of different synth pop bands and some of their albums. And this is great. I hope you're familiar with this awesome music. But let's say I want to, in addition to this list of albums, I want to have a list of just the bands. And in this list, I don't need three instances of the band Camouflage, or three of Depeche Mode, or Mesh, or Rupesh Cartel, or Red Flag. I just want one of each of these bands. There are a couple of ways I could do this, but let me show you one. I'm gonna click on cell A1, and I'll hold the click and just drag down to select all of the data that I am interested in. And then I'm gonna go to the Data tab and look in the Sort and Filter group and click on Advanced. And I get this very helpful pop-up that appears. Now notice I didn't copy or anything. I just selected the data and then went to the Data tab and chose Advanced here in the Sort and Filter group. No copying necessary. Now that this pop-up has appeared, I can choose to, yes, copy to another location. Notice that Excel shows me the list range, so what I've already selected, A1 through A55, that looks correct. I'm gonna skip down here to Copy To, and let's say I would like to copy the list to right here. All I would have to do is click this button, Copy To, and I'll click here on H1, and I'm just gonna drag down all the way to H55. With that selected, I can click this button again, and Probably the key step to make this all work is this. I need to check this box that says unique records only. I only want one instance of each of these bands in the list. Click OK, and as I browse up, you'll see that it worked. I'm gonna double click between H and I so that the column is sized perfectly. And now you can see I have a nice list of all of the bands whose albums are in this list here. And now of course I could click and drag to select that range, Control X to cut, and then I'll go here to the bands sheet, and then Control V to paste, and I'll again resize to make sure it fits. And then back here on the album list spreadsheet, I now just have the albums and the bands are on their own spreadsheet. So this is one of the best ways to take a list of items that does not just have unique information, there's lots of repeats, but then very very quickly, just highlight the key information that you need, go to the data tab, sort and filter group, advanced, and use the pop-up that appears to make the selections necessary to produce unique content only. And then you can put that content wherever you need to in Excel. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could certainly also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I need to say thank you to my fantastic Super Techie channel supporters. Thank you for what you do to support the channel. Also, if you want to learn more about creating unique information or filtering out duplicates, please watch my other videos on unique data in Excel.